Welcome guys to another episode of Hypixel Skyblock. So today I'm going to be showing you some budget setups that you can use to farm on the garden. Now to start out, we're going to look at the cheapest of any farming armor. And that is actually going to be the farm. It's actually just called farm suit. Leggings, helmet. I'm actually going to have to craft the chest plate. And just like that, we have the farm suit armor. Now, each piece gives five farming fortune, which is honestly not bad at all. It only costs about 2,000 coins for this set. So anybody on a brand new profile can get this set super easily, and there's no requirements. Now, if you're trying to step up in your farming gear, there are some easy alternatives. And the first one is actually going to be in wheat collection level nine, we see the farm armor, which is just enchanted hay bales, which makes this armor roughly about 200,000 coins for the full set. Now, if you're trying to step up even more, you can get up to rabbit armor, which this one, if you do not have the collection for this, it is definitely not worth it to buy it on the auction house unless some people look at the price and actually find out it's a really good flip because it only costs it's a little under a million coins for this set so if you played the game for a little bit it shouldn't be too hard to afford this it actually gives a lot of farming fortune it actually gives 15 per piece and then an extra 10 if you're wearing the full set another piece of armor that you should definitely look into is the lantern helmet now this helmet scales farming fortune with your farming level so if you are farming level 50 this will give 50 fortune so anything past level 15 this will actually beat the helmet for the rabbit set except you actually do lose the full set ability so it's not going to be worth it to switch over to this unless you are using some farmer boots because they have the same thing that scales with your farming level. So the thing is, this lantern helmet only scales farming fortune if you're holding an axe. So if I put this on, I have 287, but if I hold an axe, it puts up my farming fortune. Now there is a way that you can confuse the game and make it give you the farming fortune if you're holding a hoe instead of an axe. So right now I have 440 farming fortune, and if I just pick it up like this in my inventory and switch it over, it still thinks I'm holding the axe. If I just switch my hand and then go back onto it, it's a lot less than it was before. And if I just switch them around, now I'm holding the axe, it's back up to 440. The only annoying thing is if you just switch from one hand to the other, you will lose the farming fortune from the helmet. So if you're first getting into farming and you don't want to spend too much, you can actually get just a lantern helmet, rabbit chest plate, rabbit leggings, and farmer boots. That is not too expensive and might be a little bit under 2 million coins. And that is a pretty good farming setup for beginners. If you then want to add in a pet that you should buy, the number one pet that you should start with is going to be a rabbit pet. Now, you want to make sure that it's at least epic. Buying one that is legendary would be good too, but they're a little bit more expensive, coming in at about 1.2 mil. But if you buy an epic one, it should only be about 240k, and they still increase the amount of farming wisdom that you get. Using a rabbit pet, you're going to be upgrading your farming skill, getting more skill experience, which is always good for beginners. Now, if you're looking for a farming fortune pet that doesn't cost too much, unfortunately, there's not very many easy options. The best beginner farming fortune pet that I would say is an epic mushroom cow pet because it starts with a base of 11 farming fortune. And if you get it up to level 100, it's actually 110 farming fortune. And it only costs about three to four million coins so it shouldn't be too expensive, but you might need to farm for a little bit to get the money in order to buy it. Now, if you want to upgrade to a legendary Mushroom Cow, it's actually going to come in at 7 million coins. 
Now this does increase your farming fortune, but it's based off the strength that you have. So if you're going to make a legendary Mushroom Cow worth it, you actually have to get the Forceful Reforge, which actually comes from the Acacia Birdhouse. It gives the most strength out of any other Reforge, but it does cost like 10 million coins. So it's probably not worth it for a beginner to go for a legendary Mushroom Cow. Instead, it would be more worthwhile to save up for a legendary elephant because instead of spending 18 million coins to get the reforge as well as the legendary mushroom cow, you can actually buy a legendary elephant for about 21 million coins. And these actually give about 1.8 farming fortune per level, which stacks up to 180, which does beat a mushroom cow on just about every crop. Unless you have a Chimera Daedalus Axe, then the Mushroom Cow can win. Now when you are looking for a pet item, you want to go with a yellow bandana. Now this can be bought at the Sky Mart on the Garden for 300 copper, or on the Auction House for about 2.4 million coins, and it will increase your pet's farming fortune by 30. Also good equipment that you would like to use is going to be the Lotus Set. Now if you put the Blooming Reforge on it, that will actually give you more Farming Fortune and it does not cost too much. Now what you're going to want to start out with is getting the Bracelet because that one is actually pretty cheap coming in at about 350k. But some of the other ones like the Cloak and the Necklace actually cost over a million coins. This one is 3.5 million coins. So it's probably not worth it for beginner farmers, but as you begin to upgrade your gear, it is definitely worth it down the road. Now in terms of farming tools that you want to use, if you do not have the farming skill level required to use some good farming tools, then you should totally use the basic gardening hoe, or the advanced gardening hoe, or even the axes. Now these do not cost a lot of coins on the auction house, only about 200,000 coins for the advanced. It's only 5 copper for the basic, even 25 copper isn't that much. So if you do just get, buy these at the Sky Mart, that's cool too. And they give farming fortune for every crop, however if you can possibly buy any farming hoe on the auction house, if you're going to start with something like wheat, you should definitely look into buying a wheat hoe. Now do not buy it on the buy it now section. You would like to do it on ending soon. As you can see, they're not very high prices. They're not very high prices, mostly because these will go up in the last five minutes. However, it is definitely more worth it to buy it here than it is to make it yourself or buy it on the buy it now. Now the farming hoes are actually extremely important if you're going to plan on farming a lot. In order, you should go for Lantern Helmet, Farmer Boots, and Rabbit Armor for the chestplate and leggings. And after you get the armor set and a decent pet, you need to go for the hoe because that gives a lot of farming fortune and it gives you a lot more of the specific crop that you're going to farm. If you do have more money to upgrade your gear, the first thing that you should look for is actually going to be melon armor. Now this armor isn't too expensive. It comes in at probably about five to seven million coins. Now it is actually still more worth it to use the lantern helmet and farmer's boots you should upgrade these to Rancher's Boots when you have enough money because then you can pick the speed that you're going to farm at. Now these do give about 20 farming fortune per piece, so it's not a big upgrade, but the chance of getting crappies does help pay it off. If you do have more money than this and you want to go past melon armor, you can buy either crappie or possibly even squash armor because those do end up getting more farming fortune except it's not a large increase, so if you don't have a lot of money, it's probably not worth it to go for it right away. However, if you are farming with these, you can get squashes, and if you use squash armor, you can get fermentos, which do come in and earn a little bit of money per hour, but it's not insane. 
If you do want to increase your farming fortune even more, you can get the Croppy Talisman. Now, it is 10 farming fortune, and it's only on a couple of specific crops, but it does cost quite a bit. You can even upgrade it to even Squash, but it costs quite a bit of money to upgrade it. And then the final tier is actually Fermento, which is probably not worth it. It's only 30 farming fortune. If you have enough money, it's definitely worth it if you plan on farming a lot. But it's probably not worth it to begin farming. That is going to do it for today's episode. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And please consider subscribing if you are new around here. We are getting extremely close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. So thank you guys very much. And I will see you guys next time.